I got a DM from Incarcerated Bob. The Incarcerator. And we're all stunned by the stuff that Bob knows before anybody else knows. No, mm -hmm. Not anymore. Well, yeah, yeah we're not well, stunned Well, now anymore. I'm on board. Okay, so uh, I want to read you uh, what he sent me yesterday because now there's something that backs it up today. Mm. He sends me this. Little Birdie, close to Odell Beckham Jr., said he wants out. His agent will try and get him traded this offseason. Uh, the fit is horrible. Uh, his jersey sales are down. <laughs> Lost some marketing deals this season by being in Cleveland. His marketing team wants him out of Cleveland and back in major market or team with national exposure. Patriots already tried to trade for him last year. Niners had interest in Vegas' option with Raiders looking for splash heading into new digs. So then we get this, a story by Howie Kusai of the New York Post. Um, so Beckham has a press conference today, and he's asked about being in Cleveland, and he was given an opportunity to kind of squash recent rumors he's hoping to change teams again. I'm sure he squashed it. He said, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sit here and tell you whether I'm going to be here, want to be here, don't want to be here. This is exactly where I'm at now, and I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. In the offseason, everything will figure itself out. I feel like I've been here before asking questions about the next team while I'm on a team. Something that I just tune out for right now. That's something we'll worry about when the offseason comes around. Right now, I'm learning. Finish the season strong. If we can make the playoffs, I'm all in. I'm going to give this team everything I have. I tell you all the time, 2020 is going to be my year. My mindset for next year is no matter what's going on, nothing's going to get in my way. I told you guys this when he was traded to Cleveland. This is not where he wants to be. I don't care if his best friend is there in Jarvis Landry. This guy is a diva star. You think he wants to be in Cleveland, Ohio? Well, you're right and you're wrong, in my opinion. I believe this fit could have been just fine. And Cleveland, let's not, guys, time, the football season changes so much. The beginning of the year, there was legitimate excitement around Cleveland. People were talking about this team a lot. I get it, but it's still Cleveland. But if right now they were sitting at, uh, what are we, 12 games in? Yep. If they were 8-4, and 9-3, and three, you think you'd still be seeing these quotes? I, st I think he'd still want out. Yeah, I really do. So maybe just no. the questions because, wouldn't know, be coming. Here's the bottom line, though. LeBron James had equity in that area. He's from Akron. Yes. If anybody wanted to spend his whole life in Cleveland, it would be him. He has left twice. Yeah, he came back once, but he left twice. Odell Beckham Jr., and I like Cleveland. Cleveland's a, a really cool town. That's not Odell Beckham Jr. We, we, we heard that when he played for the Giants in New York City, he would fly to L.A. on his off day. This is this is a big lights, big city yeah, guy. Yeah, but why, why do I feel like... He doesn't though, want to be on Euclid let's, Avenue. Let's, let's ask this question, then. Let's say he's playing for the Rams. And the Rams are having the year they're having, having the exact same year, right? Quarterback Goff doesn't look like what he was. This Not sure if he's the right fit. You know, Gurley's the star. And, you know, and it would probably be the exact same thing. And he'd be sitting there playing right in Hollywood. But the team would be losing. He's only got one or two touchdowns. Jersey sales are off, which I don't understand because they share all the revenue anyway. So I'm not really sure why he is upset that his jersey sales are down. But that's about them just thinking the brand isn't is but suffering. I think he would have the same attitude because I don't think it's Cleveland. I agree. He knew exactly what he was getting into. But team's not that great. We don't know about the quarterback now. He's not having that great of a season. Yep. We don't know if the coach is any good. He's very entertaining when he's on our show. I think but great. I don't know if he's a good coach. Right, he's only got what, what, what two touchdowns? Two touchdowns. So, Michael, I, I, I argued with you about this. It's not Cleveland because Peyton Manning made himself a star in Indianapolis. But Peyton Manning's he's not, not this guy. But you're this. The problem is, you can make the argument if you want, Michael. You just don't. I don't think have a leg to stand on because the team's so bad and his production's been bad. But, but so he's unhappy generally. So, uh, so. I'm telling you what I, I felt from the very beginning, just having been around the guy, having him on the show, the things that he said, the things that he did. You're telling me things might be different if they won. Well, they haven't won. No. And they're in Cleveland. And I think that that's a big part of it. He does well, not want to have his you, star shine on Euclid Avenue in Cleveland. You think, you think right now if he was in a major market? Yes. And they were this bad, and he had two touchdowns. He'd he be wouldn't happier. be complaining. He'd be happy. But, 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 but he wasn't thing. happy in and New by York. The way, that quote wasn't even that bad, frankly. For Odell, 
That no, it wasn't have. awful, but he, he could have said, I want to be he here. He could have said, I want to be here. But the same thing happened. He How could he lie? You know, whether it was ripping Eli, he he was a pain when he was here. He probably wanted out here, and no. he was in New York. No, he didn't want to out of New York. He wanted out of Eli. He, want, I pre he probably wanted a no, different I, I, quarterback, but he signed a contract no, but with I think, New York. I think he wants out of anywhere where he is not the flat-out star doing well. So if... If Baker Mayfield was having a great year and the Browns were what we thought that everybody thought what they were going to be and winning the division, he would be perfectly happy. But now they're losing. He's not getting the touchdowns. It's a dysfunctional situation that doesn't have that bright of a future. They might fire their coach at the end of the year. Do we know that Baker Mayfield's a star or did we overrate him? He's going to want out of any of those situations. I'm telling you, if the exact same situation was happening with the Rams in L.A., I agree. He but would that, probably want out of there too. I agree. Just guessing about that. We so know are you. this guy. Yeah, so are you. We know this guy wants a guy out of Cleveland. No, no. What we know is is that when things aren't going well for him and he's not getting the ball, he seems to be unhappy. Yes. Right. He had last week. He had six targets, three catches, no touchdowns. He's at 800 yards for the season. Low numbers on everything except for 2017 when he was hurt. These are all-time lows for. Him. That's going to be bad. I'm surprised. As, it, it, I think if you were right and he hated it, I think we would have heard about this before week 13. Yeah, but he 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 and his people are smart enough to know he can't be that guy. Okay, you just left New York. Now you want to get out of Cleveland. This is behind the scenes stuff. You know people that know him. I don't know if you know him. I mean, at it was all. at my birthday a few years ago. Okay. Very close. Do you really believe he would like Cleveland, Ohio? I mean, come on. Take all the other nonsense aside. Is Cleveland, Ohio for Odell Beckham Jr.? Probably not. However, I just think you overestimate how important that is. He's in the middle of the country. He can still travel to other places. The season's only so long. But it's not he could spend six months in L.A. But it's not them. for good business. It's not good for business either, according to what Bob said. Well, Sales are down with his jersey. I mean, he's not the megastar, megawatt star he was with the Giants. But I, I think the biggest problem is just that they're not able to get him the ball. The, you know, and I'll tell you what, I can't help but think... If you're a Giants fan, I know there are Giants fans who are just thrilled that he's gone. I don't fully understand it, but I know it's out there. Yeah, Dave Gettleman. I really think that had they been able to communicate with him, like, hey, we have a new quarterback coming in. This, this There could be a new future for you here. I, I think about, I, could it have worked out here? I couldn't because Gettleman wanted him out. Gettleman looked at him as a cancer. He wanted to change the room. Look at every, every well, guy got... I don't well, think the guy and, was wrong with him. And I don't, and I don't, I don't know, think he was what was wrong with him either. I don't about whether he's a cancer. Certainly the Giants don't look good because they got rid of a lot of players that were quote-unquote cancers. And the Does team their is culture just seem bad, any better now? Has it isn't any better. But the one thing that I do believe was factual was that they weren't sure that Odell was going to be on board for any kind of a rebuild. Remember, they gave him the contract and the thought was, we're going to go for it again. We're going to try to win another championship. Once they started the rebuild, Odell want, didn't want any part of that. And now that looks like the way it's going to be in Cleveland, right? Who, how, if this team, listen, they could still make a run, but with the attitude that they have, if this team ends up missing the playoffs, then they're not going to have all these primetime games next year. They might have a new coach. They might be in a rebuild mode, and they figure oh, Odell's not going to want to be a part of that. Listen to what Freddie Kitchen had to say he? about Odell. This was uh, from the 4th, so this was yesterday. Odell first came, I think I told you guys, I don't judge anybody off what anybody else does. I like to see it for myself. And Odell's uh, done everything we've asked him to do. Been no problem at all. Different situations are different for different people. And, and Odell's been a good teammate. I got to tell you what, Keishins has actually morphed into Peter. It's, it's amazing. You know, do you, do, you, do you guys hear the audio? Of, he actually had an IFB when Odell was talking. Right. So he was going to say certain things, but then in his ear, he had Freddie Kitchens. Right. You didn't hear what Kitchens said? No, what did he say? Odell, oh, it's me, Freddie Kitchens. Now I hear them asking you the questions, Odell. Don't you say you want to leave me? Don't you say you want to leave I'm okay. I'm okay if you leave, Odell. I'm okay. Wow. 